So we're counting down the top 10 largest Amish communities today. Question for you guys, five of these 10 are all from a single state, okay? So see if you know which one. Try to guess before I get started here, which state actually has half of the top 10 list. I've actually visited all of these communities, most of them multiple times. Let's jump into it. The 10th largest Amish community is Allen County, Indiana. I actually visited this community way back in 2006 for the first time. The Amish here, they're from a group called the Swiss Amish, and there'll be a little bit more about them later. So they were a little bit hard, harder to make a connection with. Uh, I don't want to say they were rude, but especially compared to other Amish from other parts of Indiana. And that's just the way it is with some Amish communities. Some Amish communities are known to be very kind of friendly and open to outsiders and others less so. But uh, I did meet some great people here and really interesting place. People love to build homes with brick here for some reason, it's really popular. So it gives the homes kind of a really, I don't know, I don't say fancy look, but uh, just a, a distinct look that's quite different from Amish and other communities. The ninth largest Amish community is Mifflin County, Pennsylvania. Have you ever seen a yellow buggy before? Now, if that sounds crazy, well, if you go to Mifflin County, you, you'll see yellow buggies and you actually see buggies in a couple other colors too, black and also white. Um, that's actually the logo for this channel is taken from a photo from that this community. It's a large valley where the Amish live here. The official name is Kishikoquillis Valley, but people call it Big Valley just for short. And you can see why if you look at that name. So you have three groups called the Nebraska Amish, the Byler Amish, and the Reno Amish. The eighth largest Amish settlement, Arthur, Illinois. This community has a special place for me because this is where I first met the Amish way back in 2004, doing a job selling books door to door, maybe some more on that another time. A very nice community, very flat land, lots of corn, largest settlement in Illinois and number eight on the list. The seventh largest community is Davis County, Indiana. One of my favorite communities. The Amish here are quite friendly and they speak with a southern accent here and it's very kind of disarming or unusual if you're used to Amish from like Lancaster County and that very specific accent. The sixth largest community is Napanee, Indiana and if you've ever heard of Amish Acres this community is known for that tourist attraction that was recently sold and taken over by some new ownership. The Amish here work in RV factories in the area like another community on this list which I'll get to. The fifth largest community is Adams County, Indiana. And this is another of the Swiss Amish communities. The first on this list, Allen County, also belongs to this group. So the Swiss Amish are known for specific customs that are kind of unique to them. In this community, they, they only drive the open buggies. So you're not gonna see the closed top buggies in almost all the groups. So there's a, maybe a little bit of an exception there, but. That's, that's the standard for the Swiss Amish. They speak a, a German dialect, a Swiss-based German dialect that's different from the majority of the Amish. They also uh, have the practice of yodeling in, in this community. So pretty unique and unusual compared to the other Amish communities. The fourth largest Amish community is Jelga County, Ohio. I have a funny story. I actually sold books in this community as well. And it was in April and I got caught in a lake effect snowstorm and I ended up having to spend the night in my truck in the parking lot of a, of a gas station in a town in the middle of this community. Jaga has uh, two different kind of main groups there, one that's more progressive and the other one that's more conservative and traditional. You'll see in this community lots of ice boxes or ice, uh, like ice vending kind of machines throughout the community because Amish here rely on ice refrigeration. So that's something different from a, a lot of the Amish who would use like a a gas or a liquid propane refrigerator. The third largest Amish community is Elkhart and LaGrange County, Indiana. Now we're getting into what you might think of as the big three Amish settlements. And now you've also got the answer to my quiz question at the beginning. It's Indiana has half of the top 10, five of the top 10 largest Amish communities. In this community, many of the Amish work in RV factories, which a lot of people find unusual. It's kind of funny to think of Amish building RVs, but it's a very popular occupation for Amish here. Elkhart and LaGrange County is considered a pretty progressive Amish community. One interesting thing, the buggies here, I think these are some of the brightest buggies I've ever seen in my life. They're very well lit up at night. Now, not all of them, but you know, strobe lights and flashers, and they take that aspect of road safety very seriously. The second largest Amish community is Holmes County, Ohio. 
And that also includes neighboring counties, Wayne County, Tuscarawas County, Coshocton County, part of Stark County. And um, this is one of the most diverse, or arguably the most diverse Amish settlement. You've got everything from the kind of most quote unquote progressive Amish, New Order Amish that use uh, tractors in the field, all the way to the very conservative Swartz and Truber Amish who don't have plumbing in the home. They don't use the orange SMB safety triangle and have a very plain lifestyle compared to many of the others in the community. This may be my favorite Amish settlement to visit. It's a beautiful area where there's lots of little nice small towns in the area. It's quite rural. About half the population is, is Amish. Quite hilly, especially as you go further south. And of course, just the very many different Amish groups makes it, makes it a very interesting place. Finally, the number one and largest Amish community is Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. That's Lancaster, not Lancaster. Okay, so that's how you can kind of tell if someone's from this area uh, or not. And I'm not from that area. I just kind of picked that up from, from being there and having Amish friends there and spending a lot of time there. There's a lot of superlatives around this community. It's the, it's the largest Amish community. It's the most visited Amish community, probably the best known Amish community, the oldest Amish community. A few things about the Amish here. The Amish here drive gray top buggies. You'll know Lancaster Amish often by their last names because they're very specific last names that are common to Lancaster County, like Stoltzfus, which would be the most common name, Lap, Zook, King, Real, Fisher. Those are names you either see here generally, or if you're in another area, it's a community that's come from Lancaster County. So if you're like in Indiana, there's a couple of communities that came from Lancaster, so you'll see those last names there, and that's a definite clue that they are connected with, with Lancaster. Beautiful area, picture-perfect farms, very historic area, and very popular, as I mentioned, to visit. Lancaster County is also home to the mud sales, which happen uh, in this, starting in the spring every year, where the volunteer fire companies, where a lot of Amish actually volunteer, have consignment benefit sales, which generate a lot of the, the money that is used to fund them through the year. A lot of people attend Amish and English, and they're called mud sales, not because they sell mud, but because in the spring, the fields tend to be quite muddy. So that's where they got their name. So there you have it, the top 10 largest Amish communities. We'll be doing more videos on Amish communities, Amish culture, Amish beliefs, other topics. Subscribe below, give us a like, give us a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. This is another of the so-called swish, swish Amish. <laughs>